Thank you, and welcome to a Vertibesh, growing lettuce and soilless using plastics as plant holders in vertical gardening. First is the pot preparation. Use disposable cups as anchorage containers. The ripped cloth was used as an absorbent material. Ripped cloth helps absorb the nutrient solution from the plastic container and provided to the growing lettuce. Fill up the disposable cups with rice whole charcoal. Rice whole charcoal serves as the plant anchorage medium. I formulated nutrient solutions in this setup. Solutions A and B were formulated using the available fertilizer materials in the local market. Making of the final solution. Shake the container after each addition of fertilizer materials. Put a small amount of hydroponic solution. Insert the cloth strand using a cocaustic. And ensure that the strand reaches the top portion of the rice hull charcoal. We need to bring those ripped cloth into the top portion. To at least help the plant sip up the solution that is necessary, especially at the early stage, while they are still developing their own roots. Transplanting of lettuce and peche seedlings. Making a vertical frame for lettuce and pache using slatted bamboo. This is the finished bamboo frame setup. A 7 by 10 inch plastic cellophane is used as hydroponic solution container. Pour enough hydroponic solution. With gun tucker. Install the individual cellophane storage container with pot into the bamboo frame. The setup is simple since we don't have any aerators, pumps, and grow lights. A minimal volume of solution in the plastic container will balance the air and water in the anchorage medium. That's why we don't need pumps or aerators anymore. With this one point to square meter bamboo frame, we have grown 45 plants of lettuce and 18 peche. Two days after transplanting, checking and refilling the empty hydroponic solution. The refilling of hydroponic solutions is usually done every other day, depending on the response of the plants. 12 days after transplanting, Fourteen days after transplanting. Six.
16 days after transplanting, during rainy months. The plants were exposed to less sunlight for more than half of the growing period. Eighteen days after transplanting. At twenty two days after transplanting. And there you have it, you may harvest it in advance. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share then click the notification bell for our new update. Una Grinabash, thank you for watching.